SB80. Cruising at 93 miles per hour without any fuel, electricity, or sails might seem unbelievable on a boat, but in our modern world, incredible technology makes it entirely possible. The SP-80 is pure speed wrapped up in a 20-foot-long, 330-pound hull sporting a sleek starship look. To hit those high speeds, it's got unique features setting it apart from typical sailing boats. The vessel's primary construction material is a blend of 3D-printed components and durable and light carbon fiber. This special carbon fibers made using a technique that eliminates any air pockets, preventing potential cracks in the hull. The SP-80 ditches traditional sails seen on fast sailing boats for something unique, a kite, which accelerates it to reach incredible speeds. Unlike sails that make the boat unsteady, this kite avoids that issue without adding extra weight like ballasts do. This is why the designers of the SP-80 decided to use a kite that generates power without weighing down the boat. Also, if necessary, its size can be changed from 215 to 540 square feet. The hydrofoils, crucial for achieving remarkable speeds, boast a triangular cross-section, a departure from the typical oval shape. This design eliminates air pockets around the hydrofoils, allowing speeds exceeding 62 miles per hour, unlike traditional designs. Despite its numerous benefits, it's crucial to note that this boat isn't meant for commercial use and is unlikely to ever be. SP-80 stands as a pure experiment, showcasing the capabilities of wind power and human design innovation. Sunreef 80 Eco You can easily tell the primary power source of certain boats just by looking at them. With Sunreef 80 Eco Catamaran, this is evident from the abundant solar panels, some of which are positioned in unconventional spots on the sides of the hull. When all the solar panels are working together, they can produce up to 32 kilowatts of electricity. Almost every composite part of the boat is designed to fit solar panels. They can be set up on the mast, boom, island, and deck. Another key aspect involves the sails. It features a mainsail spanning 2,150 square feet, a Genoa sail covering 1,670 square feet, a Jenniker totaling 3,660 square feet, and a stay sail at 750 square feet. Once unfurled, these sails work together with a special system to consistently generate electricity from the wind. Additionally, the catamaran boasts two electric motors to keep moving when there's no wind. Their power can vary between 80 and 180 kilowatts each, and they're capable of running quietly and conserve energy. These motors are fueled by specially commissioned batteries. Furthermore, the catamaran offers exceptional comfort. Its interior features a luxurious master suite furnished with a double bed, TV, and bathroom. Alongside, a VIP stateroom occupies the central area, complemented by two identical guest cabins. The galley provides plenty of storage options, while relaxation is facilitated by two expansive sofas and a foldable table. Outside, one can find spacious lounge chairs, a bar, and more. Jaguar Vector Jaguar, widely recognized for its automobiles, surprises many by extending its expertise to watercraft. This aquatic vehicle, boasting impressive speeds, operates without the need for fuel. 88 miles per hour might seem ridiculously slow for sports car enthusiasts, but in the world of electric boats, it's a record set by this specific boat. Its exceptional speed owes much to two things, robust motors and a streamlined hull that reduces wind resistance. These electric motors are absolute beasts in the realm of small boat power, packing a punch at 220 kilowatts. The energy powering them comes from batteries weighing 705 pounds. These components collectively contribute to the considerable weight of the high-speed electric craft, yet this is offset by the lack of additional equipment and certain hull characteristics. Similar to sleek sports cars designed for the road, the hull of the Jaguar Vector embraces aerodynamics, drawing inspiration from features seen in Formula E electric cars. Testing the boat in real life is nearly impossible since it's a unique model reserved for breaking records. However, in the Crew 2 game, you can not only hit record speeds, but also fly for short distances. Aquarius This yacht prioritizes comfort over speed, despite its vintage appearance. However, don't be misled by its classic look. 
It seamlessly merges the elegant, neat, and stylish design taken from the past with a modern approach to constructing sailboats. Thanks to modern construction methods, a 180-foot-long yacht with a 16-foot draught can cruise at a speed of 19 miles per hour. Its spacious design cleverly integrates all essentials for contemporary comfort without feeling cramped. Aside from all the household items every yacht's supposed to offer, you'll find bespoke white sofas, folding tables and seats, and a mahogany floor that was intentionally left bare. The owner's sleeping area offers a view of the stairs leading to the rear deckhouse and a personal cockpit. As for the guests, they can be comfortably accommodated in two double suites. You'll find the same simple yet elegant design on the deck. There's a console that hides many controls under teak covers, keeping them out of sight when not in use. On top of that, you'll find the sails on the deck. They don't seem outdated at all. These Aquarius sails operate on the same basic principle as their predecessors, but have been fine-tuned for maximum efficiency in steering the boat and reaching decent speeds. Spindrift 2 Wind power can propel even large vessels without requiring any fuel or electricity, harnessing its force to move them effortlessly. The wind is a powerful force indeed since it propels the Spindrift 2, a trimaran weighing 20 tons with dimensions of 131 feet in length and 75 feet in width. To put it in perspective, a crane capable of lifting 300 tons was required to handle it, plus the mast standing at 148 feet was installed when the trimaran was already on the water. The boat harnesses wind power using sails covering 8,600 square feet, which is quite an impressive area. Coupled with its unique design, these large sails enable speeds of up to 55 miles per hour. The boat earned its spot as a record holder due to its remarkable speed. Back in 2009, it set a record for crossing the North Atlantic, achieving it in just three days, 15 hours, 25 minutes, and 48 seconds under sail power alone. This voyage also established another record for the longest distance covered, totaling 907 miles. N30 Electric boats' efficiency can be enhanced through diverse methods. Navier, for instance, opted to modify their boats. In designing the N30, they incorporated the well-known yet immensely beneficial hydrofoils. This addition significantly extended the range to 86 miles, surpassing direct competitors by a substantial margin. Without the powerful engines initially installed in the N30, this modification wouldn't have performed as well. The boat features two 90-kilowatt engines, adaptable to reach different speeds ranging from 20 23 miles per hour to 40 miles per hour through adjustments. These engines draw power from batteries charged within 30 minutes using a DC fast charger. Alongside the hydrofoils, the boat gets a boost from an autopilot system that helps the captain with warnings, collision alerts, and route guidance through waypoints. If the captain prefers manual control, there are three driving modes, Eco, Comfort, and Sport. Eco and Comfort prioritize efficiency, while Sport mode is all about speed and agility. Energy Observer This boat's a great example of how a large vessel can be entirely independent from traditional fuels. The primary eco-friendly feature is its solar panels. Given its substantial length of 98 feet and overall dimensions, the Energy Observer requires a lot of energy to navigate, which in turn means a lot of solar panels. There are 2,170 square feet of panels on the boat. Most of the time, they power the batteries that supply electricity to everything on board. Another way to break free from diesel and gas reliance involves converting excess energy into hydrogen fuel. The boat stores hydrogen in eight tanks placed on its wings. In case of emergencies, these tanks power power the boat for six days. Additionally, the heat produced during hydrogen production is used to warm the boat. Sails play a crucial role on the energy observer, cutting down the need for conventional fuels. Specifically designed to minimize shading on the solar panels, these sails ensure optimal energy capture. Inside, the vessel offers comfort, featuring six cabins, a multi-purpose lounge area, a functional kitchen, and various amenities for the crew and passengers.
Solar panels cover every available surface on the Energy Observer. This makes it a strong contender in a competition celebrating inventive designs featuring maximum solar panel coverage. X5 Plus Weehi this catamaran provides passengers with an opportunity for a luxurious and eco-friendly vacation without using any fuel at all. Those 190-watt solar panels along the hull keep the catamaran eco-friendly, powering all the onboard equipment. Any surplus energy gets stored in 22-kilowatt-hour lithium-ion batteries for future use. The boat also relies on sails for movement, adding to its versatility. These sails cover a total area of 3,700 square feet on the 54-foot-long boat. The catamaran cruises near the Bahamas, which means it's essential to prioritize passenger relaxation. The boat's fully equipped for leisure, a cozy living space with a table and surrounding sofa, functional kitchen, sinks, toolboxes, a guest room, showers, and more. The boat also features a convenient cockpit with ergonomically arranged controls for easy handling. Sea Quester 3 even submarines can embody the traits of the perfect contemporary vessel, comfort without reliance on fuel. Plus, they offer the unique opportunity to explore places unreachable by typical ships. Within the Sequester 3, three people can relax in comfortable seating, complemented by a robust air conditioning system. This vessel also provides additional tools like a manipulator and video cameras, enabling passengers to interact with underwater objects or view them at leisure. The submarine runs on lithium-ion batteries instead of fuel enabling it to navigate using internal systems and travel at speeds up to 3 miles per hour. This pace allows for a leisurely and cautious exploration beneath the waves. These batteries provide autonomy underwater for 8 hours at depths of up to 330 feet. Inorado 8S as we already realized, combining hydrofoils with electric motors proved to be a winning combination for watercraft as showcased by the Eldorado boat. Measuring 28 feet long and 27 feet wide, the Eldorado 8S employs a unique hydrofoil design which is not a fixed structure but a flexible element. As the boat ventures into open waters and gains velocity, these retractable hydrofoils lift its hull, enabling speeds of 43 miles per hour. The battery plays a vital role in achieving this speed, the 8S boasts an 80 kilowatt hour battery powering two 50 kilowatt electric propeller drives. Its range on a single charge isn't groundbreaking, but it keeps pace with most rivals, 46 miles at 29 miles per hour. The 8S stands out as a comfortable boat. It boasts a pilot interface equipped with three 15-inch touchscreens, ambient lighting, an audio system, and a spacious rear seating area. Soulcat 12. This catamaran offers a comfortable way to travel on water, ensuring passengers feel involved in environmental conservation as it's primarily powered by solar power. The catamaran comfortably accommodates 16 people, offering varied seating like simple benches or classier lounges for high-end resorts. Additionally, it can feature a fully equipped bar. Passengers can also access onboard Wi-Fi for their convenience. To transport passengers, the Soulcat 12 relies on an 8.6 kilowatt solar panel installed on the roof. Paired with two 60 kilowatt hour batteries and two 30 kilowatt electric motors, this setup achieves a speed of 15 miles per hour. While not incredibly fast, it suits well for this 39 foot fiberglass vessel, which creators intended as a taxi or tour boat. Candela C8 Creating high-speed electric-powered water transportation is a challenge that can be overcome by using hydrofoils that reduce water resistance. To enhance the speed of an electric boat, the designers of the Candela C8 have crafted a remarkable watercraft. 
As it reaches a speed of 18 miles per hour, the hull ascends, leaving only three carbon fiber struts in the water. The motor power ranges from 45 to 50 kilowatts, depending on the version. Despite the seemingly modest engine strength, the boat reaches 34 miles per hour due to drag reduction using hydrofoils, covering a distance of up to 57.5 miles on a single charge. Knox SV Imagine a blend of a traditional wooden hull and an electric motor. It results in a boat that zooms across the water at incredible speeds, all while capturing the timeless style of vintage race cars. The Knox SV draws attention with its striking wooden hull. The teak and mahogany structure, along with the racing fin in the cockpit, resembles the sleekness of race cars. However, only the outer layer of the hull is wooden. The boat's actually a sandwich made of marine plywood, foam, and fiberglass. The boat, measuring 22 by 7 feet, houses a 225 horsepower or 167 kilowatt electric motor capable of reaching speeds up to 50 miles per hour, potentially even 75 miles per hour, making it one of the fastest electric watercraft. <laughs> 